Squad. I'm just going to do a quick video, a quick demo how to prepare fresh mussels for sea fishing bait. Um, you, can pick, um, you can pick bags of mussels up from a variety of places. Uh, I've got happened to got these from Tesco's. If you've seen one of my other videos, but I've got like the only couple I've had so far this winter. Um, I've got happened to get them from Morrison's. Um, you can get them from most fishmongers, just anywhere really. Any any you know any seafood supplier. Um, I've had a bit of difficulty lately getting them to be, to be honest, I think it must be because of the time of year, Christmas coming up, people like them as like the seafood starter don't they, and all that type of thing with this Christmas dinner. So I'll just spin you around. I've got uh, almost the three pound a kilo, ki kilogram from Tesco. I got a kilo bag from Morrison's for one pound ninety last time. It's just under a kilo so it's come to two pound ninety. So I'll just have a look and see what we've got in the bag. I'm going to talk, I'll just demonstrate what we're doing. Um, I'm just boiling the kettle at the minute. You need a kettle full of boiled water. You won't be able to see my head when I just have the camera up, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So, I think, so this is the bag. With the clay. Probably could do with some kitchen towel under that, to be honest. Oh, well, I've got the sink. Let's move you along a bit more. So, I've got the sinks here. So, I'm just going to get a colander, put the colander in the sink. Open the bag and empty these into the colander. My kettle's just boiled. I will boil it again to make sure the water's absolutely piping hot. Some of them already opened. What we're looking to do is just to par blanch, blanch them. Yeah, just put kettle back on. Yeah, just put kettle back. I'm just going to boil the kettle again. Not allow me yet. Uh, just hold your finger on it for a few seconds. You want it absolutely piping hot. I'm just going to spin you around again. Far. I have got my camera stand. I mean, some of these are already open, like I say. But what you're looking to do is just to quickly blanch them. So you've got your kettle water here. That's fully boiled kettle. It's still bubbling. Just pour them over the mussels. Pour your hot water over the mussels. That does park up them just slightly. Not enough for them to be a problem for fish not eaten. What this does, it just opens them up. So I'd leave that. Well, no, what I did last time, I just left it, excuse the steam, um, for like a few seconds, say 20 seconds, then I put the cold sap on over the top of it. Make sure that cold water it happens to be hot. Cold water, make sure it's on cold. Cools them down. So they've basically been blanched to make them open and then quickly pulled down so they don't cook. Well, they've all opened now, so you've got mussels that have opened. So now you can extract them from the shells. Make sure they're nice and uh, cool. I'll spin you around one more time. So they're open like we say. Then I've got my sandwich bags to bag them up. So to open them, you just get a piece of mussel shell. I'll just turn my sandwich bag out. Just use a piece of mussel shell to scoop them out. Like that. They come out, what this does, it just enables them to come out of the shell really easy. Really easy to get them out. They're an excellent bait. I did. Try, I couldn't get hold of any fresh ones on the last session we did, so I tried cooked. Nothing, nothing showed any interest in cooked. I think they could work for whiting and stuff, and cold fish. I know people catch them on cooked prawns. If you're really desperate, you know, you could try cooked. But I think 
obviously park up to probably a bit better they've got more scent on them there's a lot of juice still in, in these that's hopefully what the fish will home in on and we'll get a few fish out with, with these i'm sure we'll get some colas tonight oh, we've got, sorry we're going to bridlington tonight with these it's friday what date we're on uh, 17th of december um this video is going on like it'll be on today so Got some nice mussels, the better quality mussels these than the one we we'll got from Morrison's, they seem bigger. But you can see how easy it is. And if you wanted to, when you put them into the sandwich bag, or you could put them on a plate say, get a baiting needle and do, wrap, wrap them up so they're easy to hook up later on. I'm just going to leave them in the sandwich bag, I'm happy just whipping them up in between bait changes or while I'm waiting to change bait, it'll just give me something to do. So, but you can see like this using the mussel shells by far and way the easiest way of getting them out of the shell knives and stuff like that sometimes it's not so easy but obviously if, you, if you're using them fresh you'd have to use a knife you know if you, if you didn't blanch them you'd have to use a knife to open the shells and then scoop them out but sometimes you, i find um, using them fresh i tend to leave meat in the shells which ain't good I've also froze them. You know, rather than blanching them in hot water, if you just put them straight in the freezer, they tend to open them as, then as well. But they're quite sloppy when you come to use them. This way, they just it just adds a bit of firmness to them, and they're a bit more manageable rather than being like snot, if you like. So uh, yeah, that's it then. So I'll, what will happen is I'll bag all these up, and they'll be good to go for bait. Whip them on, whip them on your hook with elastic, and that's really easy bait to get from your supermarkets basically so that's it other than that we'll we'll, we'll see you soon thank you